204 brake horse, three door, whale tail. Not to mention a weight bench, a lawnmower, and of course, a kitchen sink. So you weren't expecting us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you've got there? It's the Sierra Cosworth, and it's just sitting in your garage under a pile of junk. Yeah. That was the absolute nuts in my day. When Ford reinvented their humdrum Sierra as a full-blooded road-going race car, a legend was born. With the help of a tasty turbo, Tuning Wizard's Cosworth doubled the standard engine's output to a whopping 204 brake horsepower. The distinctive turbo dump valve hiss its signature sound. This grunt, along with uprated suspension and brakes, plus the outrageous rear spoiler, resulted in a car that could take the kids to school all week, and then on the racetrack at the weekend, take all comers to the cleaners. However, all of this power came at a cost. A 16 grand price tag back in 1987 translates to £40,000 today. And with sky-high insurance premiums to boot, this was strictly a car for a guy with deep pockets. The question is, why has this Cosworth been banished to the garage? Elliot, what is the story with that beauty? Well, it's been off the road for quite a while now, so about 15 years. 15 years? Yeah, I know. It's wow. What's the problem with it? What else are we dealing with here? I'll tell you what the problem here is. There's only half the engine. What? There's only half an engine in here. There's no cylinder head, and it's seized. Now I understand why it's there. So it's not really a Sierra Cosworth anymore, it's just a Sierra GL. Because <laughs> that's what made it the Cosworth, the engine. That's right, that's all it is at the moment. Now I'm worried. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs>